What is up, YouTube? So I owe you guys an explanation, and it sucks. Any way you look at it. So I made the video about me having depression. That was not a lie. I don't lie. And I spent about a week working on myself and my wife helping me out, and I felt better. Filmed a skate video or two, and I was really excited to get back into filming YouTube. But something happened after that. The second I started feeling good, which was about a week later, one of my good cousins uh, passed away unexpectedly from a heart attack, which was very sad. And then a few days after that, my grandfather passed away, which was my last living grandparent. So that was very, very tough to go through. I had to take a couple of days off of work for the funerals. <coughs> I grieved for a little while, and then I got right back into doing work. Now, I had fallen behind on my projects, so I spent a few more days focusing on catching up like the grass in my yard was up to like my knee and that was really bad and then to make matters worse as i was trying to catch up i ended up getting covid uh and thankfully i wasn't like super sick uh pretty much i ended up going to work and i was in a ton of pain like horrific pain and i would equate it to when i broke my back as a kid like it was that bad i still worked about half the day before I finally had to go to the assistant manager and tell him I, I couldn't do it anymore. I went home and went about my day. I was taking painkillers, like a, a leave and that. And I was feeling pretty decent. And then out of nowhere, I just decided, I asked my wife, I said, can you check my temperature? I said, I'm a little warm today. It's a little chilly outside. Just check my temperature for me. I'll feel a little better. And I ended up having a little over 103 fever. Um, so pretty much I then spent the next five days locked in my bedroom trying to stay away from the kids and that. So by the time I finally finished having COVID, I was really far behind and I really had to catch up on everything. So that's where I've been. Now, exciting news. I will be missing a few more uploads, but what I'm actually stoked about is my wife and I are going on a vacation. And we're going back to Williamsburg. It's been a couple of years since I filmed some videos at the Williamsburg skate park so I'll be excited to be hitting that up again uh six and a half hour drive leaving it at three in the morning that doesn't sound like too much fun but to get away will be nice especially for mental health and that by the way chop my hair off again so I'm feeling pretty good and now I just want to show off the uh, workshop and where I'm at okay starting off it's too dark but over there I installed an outlet with a brand new breaker so that all taken care of that was like a week-long project to get the right breaker and cord runs on the inside runs up under the tables power strip here I got these pegboards up today I need to get the rest of them taken out of my old workshop and dropped in here got lights in here now which is nice one over there <coughs> this is hooked up but it's not gonna be screwed back until the pegboards are done got this mounted in place I haven't screwed it down just yet because I need to find screws that will work. Got my drawers finished. Threw some organizers in here so I can keep a bunch of my screws separate and that. So that will be awesome. So it's coming along. It has a long way to go and a lot more money to put into it. So anybody who has stuck with me through my absence uh, for the past few months. Thank you so much. I've been trying to keep up at least once a week on Handskate, but things have been, like I said, very hectic for me. And I mean, they always are, but more than usual, a lot of more strain in my life. Uh, well, like I said, I'm feeling pretty good. And my boss was talking about potentially giving us half days again, which I used to spend that time to go to the skate park. So I'm hoping I can get back into that because I haven't touched my board in at least a month. And I really, really want to get back on it. I, I just have to get there mentally first. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And as always, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Check out the bonus clip for something that's kind of a little scary. Have a great day, guys. So right before I got COVID, I was in here. You can see the, the spider webs. And... This table was filled with thousands of baby spiders. And when I opened up the workshop today, there's no more baby spiders. Which has me wondering where they're at.